It's marketed as the rarest, most exotic and most expensive coffee in the world. Kopi luwak comes from the droppings of the luwak or palm civet, which eats coffee berries and by removing much of the acid as it digests them, gives the beans a different taste. Of course, after the rest of the droppings are washed away. And we wash, after we wash, we got like this. Uh, wash with normal water? Mm -hmm. And we open oh, the skin. Okay. Kopi luwak is big business in Indonesia and sold as a delicacy to tourists, especially in Bali. But animal activists say the industry is built on a lie, with farmers and vendors falsely claiming the berries are harvested from civets in the wild where the animals roam free. You don't produce any wild kopi luwak, do you? Uh, no. Animal rights group PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, secretly filmed Luwak farms and animal markets in Bali and found the industry relies entirely on captive civets held in cruel conditions. These animals are kept in small, barren cages, uh, often encrusted in their own feces, and the, the bottom of these cages are usually uh, wire, so it's easier for their, their poo to fall down for the farmers to collect. The civets are nocturnal animals, but are often kept in direct sunlight and can't sleep during the day. Often they show signs of zoocosis, or pacing dementedly from mental distress. And most disturbing, many show signs of self-mutilation. Some of the cats had even chewed their tails down to their bone out of stress and, um, and boredom. Um, and these animals are not given any veterinary care or treated for their wounds. Investigators also filmed farmers telling sellers to lie to consumers about how the coffee is sourced. So it doesn't it doesn't matter to you um, how we uh, how we market the product how we how we advertise no problems no problem. A similar investigation by another animal rights group last year found near identical conditions in Vietnam, where luwak coffee is also popular among tourists. Kopi luwak is exported around the world and a single cup or sachet can sell for as much as $100. But activists say it's impossible to produce luwak coffee on a commercial scale without cages. This myth that you can harvest them from the wild just doesn't add up with the numbers of coffee beans that they're selling. Animal activists also say civet cats were linked to the SARS epidemic in the early 2000s, meaning there's an added reason why cages are bad for the animal and a danger to public health. They're urging tourists and tour companies to boycott Kopi Luwak altogether. If you're against battery cages, it, you should be against uh, Kopi Luwak or civet coffee. It's, it's really no different. Um, these animals suffer beyond belief um, for the sake of a, a cup of coffee. The ABC contacted Indonesian authorities for comment but had no response. Anne Barker, ABC News.